was larger crowds returning. We love to see it, but leaders are learning there are some challenges they have to overcome here. Not enough public bathrooms and too much trash left on the beach despite months after Hurricane Ian cleanup. So Fox 4's Elise Chingari is live in Fort Myers Beach as town leaders now overcome challenges with those crowds coming back. Elise, another busy beach day. Good evening, Shari and Nadine. Yes, it's a really busy beach day. I mean, it's kind of shocking when you come down here to see so many people. And I mean, it's even hard to find parking when you're down here. I mean, just take a look at all of the people that are still gathered here on the beach. And now when I was talking with the mayor yesterday, he said with all these people coming here, they're starting to actually see more trash being left behind. Another concern that's happening. Let's take you right over here to Times Square. You can see that there are only four bathrooms here that all of these people are using. Two of them are actually being paid for out of pocket by Tom, the owner of La Ola Surfside Restaurant. The other two are being paid for by the town. And it's hard to keep these clean with all of these people still coming here over the last few weeks. Now let's take you right to our Sky Fox video of the past week where you can take a look at those crowds upon crowds gathering to celebrate the holidays and New Year lined all up and down Fort Myers Beach. Yes, now some businesses, when I've been talking with them, they say they're doing what they can to provide food and drinks and make some sort of income. And they do appreciate people coming here. With that being said, the town would like to make note that people need to be aware and help clean up after themselves when they are here. I would recommend that if people come, that they, they treat it like a camping trip to a more remote beach and pack their, pack their garbage out if they can. Now understand that this is not, not the old beach, that we have a lot of things going on, a lot of priorities, and that if they could take their trash with them, that would help everybody out. I also reached out to District 3 in regards to Fort Myers Beach and was sent this statement. It reads, it's my understanding that the town of Fort Myers Beach experienced a larger than expected crowd on the New Year's weekend. As such, trash exceeds the capacity of the limited receptacles remaining in place after the storm. A number of cleanup teams were at work on New Year's Day to aggregate the waste pickup. I'm told that those materials were being removed today as the beach is not officially open. It is difficult to gauge use by beachgoers, especially during the holidays. And as for these bathrooms that you're taking a look at, I was told that town staff is working with the town manager and county to try to place more bathrooms throughout the area. But it's also important to note that the town also told me, as you can try to imagine, they have a whole list of priorities on their list and things that they are trying to keep up with. So they said they weren't just totally prepared for the amount of people that are here in January here in the new year, especially with Hurricane Ian hitting us, you know, just three months ago. You'll hear more from that town council member coming up on Fox 4 News at 6. Live here on Fort Myers Beach, Elise Chingari, Fox 4.